Hello, how you doing? This is Vince Hughes with Still S Mini Solutions. This is the second video in the Still Erection Digital Takeoff Process video series. And this video is going to be on step two, setting up the detail drawings. Uh, really a simple process. It's, it's what makes the, the takeoff go fast. Uh, in all takeoffs, and what I mean by you know setting up the detail pages, right now we're looking at the, the plan we're going to do a takeoff on. The details, of course, is, are the cut sheets. So when we're setting up the de uh, detail pages in a takeoff software, that's what makes the process fast and you know flows, uh, flows really good. A lot of uh, <clears throat> takeoff softwares, you know, you can also hyperlink the details, but I find looking left to right from one screen to the other, looking at my main plans, go to that detail, look at what I've got to take off, then come back to the main plan and, uh, you know, do the takeoff just by looking left to right really speeds up the process. You could hyperlink, but to me, it's just as quick to look back and forth. All the takeoff softwares have their own way to set up the detail pages. Always a pretty simple process, no matter which one you're in. But here inside of eTakeoff, it's just a matter to set them up is to come to the very first detail page. And we'll come over here in name views, click the starburst, type in the, the sheet number, hit OK, go to the next one. Same process again. Navigate to the next page. And of course, you have to go to every detail sheet that you're that's in the structural drawings to that you're going to have to look at for your steel erection takeoff. And so then once I got them set up, we'll come back to the main plan. And the idea behind it now that I have these name views set up, the detailed drawings, I right click on it, show view in a new extra drawing window. Once that comes up, now you can see we have a second window. This second window would be going on your other screen. And then of course, now we're just gonna come here, we'll zoom in to where we can see uh, the detail. So nine on S301. So basically we're just gonna come to the drawing, look to the left, zoom in to 9301. Whatever we gotta do there, we take off the perimeter angle, it looks like we got some uh, a wind girt. We gotta take all that stuff off on the main plan. And then once we're done with that, and that detail's complete, we're simply just gonna come and highlight that detail. That way you know, we know we're, we're complete with that detail. And then we're just going to navigate to the next one. And that's where the speed comes in. Because I'm not flipping pages. I'm not, you know, flipping around trying to find that detail page. S401. I come to the binoculars, do the drop down. And now I'm at, uh, at sheet S401. 8302. I'm just going to do the drop down. Select uh, 8302. Uh, zoom into the the detail do our take off what's going on here in the main plan and then mark it off and go to the next one and what what's quick about this is you're just looking left to right so this other this this uh, second view window would be on my other screen and I'm just gonna be looking left to right no flipping around uh, to other pages uh, that's that's really what speeds up the process when you're doing a digital takeoff but it does require having two screens and as always I suggest to have you know, two good size monitors, no smaller than a 27, 30 to 33 inch is probably ideal. Uh, but that's uh, this video on uh, setting up the detail drawings. I appreciate you taking time listening to it and uh, see you in the next video, which is going to be why Still SMA Solutions can get you doing a takeoff day one. Have an awesome, awesome afternoon.